Hey guys, it's me, Tasha. Today I want to talk to you about staying calm. Oh my god, I run two businesses. How can I be productive? What in the world was I thinking? <laughs> so if you're ready, I'm ready. I'm going to take a sip of my coffee and we'll start. So the funny thing is um, I see this quote or meme or whatever you want to call it all the time. It says the average millionaire has seven streams of income. To the average person that does not have seven streams of income, and you know that's not also a millionaire, we're like, oh my god, I need seven streams. I need to get it. I need to get out there and diversify. Do we even know what's behind those seven streams? Do they have realty property? Do they have portfolios? Are they investing? Or is it seven streams of business? Or do they just, you know, do they invest in seven other people's businesses? We don't really know. But we get behind it and think we're lagging. I don't want you to think that, first of all. So, I own two businesses. I own Imperfect Concepts and Business Bestie. Business Bestie just launched earlier this month and it's an online directory. But the crazy thing is, everyone's like, oh my god, you need to monetize this, you need to monetize this. I'm not A, worried about monetizing right now. I'm B, just getting the platform off the ground and doing some things behind the scenes that my lawyers and I are aware of what the end goal for Business Bestie is. Imperfect Concepts houses, you know, my consulting company, the blog, and Kickstart Your E-Commerce. So it encompasses all that. And people are always like, how do you get shit done? <laughs> if I was honest, well, I'm going to be honest, I'm on video. Um, outside of day designation and batch theme, I mean, theme week and batch system, I'll link a video below. Um, or here, here's the video. Um, I'll link it there. But it's just staying calm and organized. That's what it really boils down to. Um, I'm a very focused person or whatever. I like to do the task I have at hand and focus on that. If I achieve my task in four hours versus the normal seven hours, I achieved it in the four. I don't try to do anything else for the other three hours. That might look lazy in some people's books. <laughs> in my books, I got the shit I needed to get done, done. That's what matters. Um, so um, with Imperfect Concepts, I'll go with the blog for instance. Um, right now, almost all of November's content is written and December's content is about to start happening. And that is simply because I sit down for maybe two, three days and I solely focus on writing this content. Um, content can range from like 500 words up to like 1500. I tried not to push the 1500 because that's a lot of content to sit there and read. Um, my like aha moment part is like the 700. If I can get it at the 700 mark, I feel really good and happy about it. I mean, there was times where I was trying to get it between 700 and 800 and I felt like I wasn't giving enough information and I'm not one of those people that wants to just create a long series of something. I, I That's just not me. I'd rather just write it all out. So I spend two, three days doing that, and then maybe the following day, so this is like probably one week, um, I'll make all the graphics. And that's like the um, graphic you see at the top, the featured image, and then the graphic that's in the middle that, you know, people can pin. So I do that. Um, and then consulting is like always on Tuesday. I try not to do any other day besides Tuesday. That way it's solely focused on one day of the week and I single out three days. So there's like, if it's a four week month, there's one week I don't do consulting. If it's a five week month, there's two weeks I don't do consulting. Um, that way I'm solely focused on my clients on that day because a lot of times I'm doing research, I'm working on projects with them, which a lot of people don't think I'm doing. But I read a lot of their contracts and stuff that they're doing. I help working on their websites. I do a lot of work <laughs> with my consulting clients. So I try to make Tuesday like a singular focus day. And then um, Business Bestie is really self-ran. People um, upload their listing in the sense their name and the directory website and all this other stuff. And then I go through and I approve them. And I want to make sure they're real. So I check out their websites. I check out their social media. Um, and everything else like that. 
so it's it's a balancing act of knowing what's important and knowing what to do like you know making monday like spending an hour monday managing your money uh, money for both of your accounts automating your social media the one thing that's really great about automating my social media is i don't have to be online all day especially days i'm super super focused and working Everything is already automated. It's telling you about products. It's telling you about services. There's a blog post. There's a link to a YouTube. There's Coffee with Tasha post. I'm Business Bestie. I'm telling you to sign up for Business Bestie around town. I'm retweeting other people's content. I might be sharing a blog post that um, I read on the internet. It's all covered. That's the thing. Social media happens to be a huge distraction. So if we're on there all day, we're not doing the work we need to do. But if you have it automated, you technically are on there. So when you do have an hour of time, you can go back and actually interact with people or you can retweet or whatever you need to do when you have that downtime. Um, but I personally believe that the seven streams of income can be a variety of things. Like me investing in my retirement is having seven streams of income because you know, when I'm 45, I'll have a nice little nest egg, you know? Um, having a couple stock options and mutual funds is a stream of income. I want my generation before, my generation, so I'm a millennial, and then I think it's Gen Z or Generation Z or something like that, and then it's Gen X above me, I can't remember right now. Um, I want them to stop thinking about just getting money. <laughs> like, oh my god, I'm behind, I need to get money. Stop thinking like that. Um, there's a purpose bigger in you than just getting money. We're all here to serve and help others. And, you know, money is always a byproduct. That's what I tell people. Money is always a byproduct of whatever you're doing, you're doing it successfully. If you do it successfully, money will be a byproduct and it will not be something you're always hustling after. Do not believe you need to hustle. I don't believe that you need to just uh, get up at the crack of dawn and do all that. I believe you need to do good work. I believe that done is better than perfect. I believe that you should do what you can in your means. <laughs> I'm not a, I, I should tell, I don't follow a lot of philosophies of other people. And that's because they have this hustler mentality and I believe what's for me is for me. As long as I do what I'm supposed to do each and every day, it will come to fruition. And you should believe the same thing. It just takes time, it takes work and everything else. So I know that was a long video, but um, I'm thankful that you watched it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about, you know, running two businesses and how to take care of everything, leave your comments in the, um, leave your comments below and I'll answer them as they come. Talk to you later. Bye.